Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a video for Construction Simulator 2022 and in this video I'm going to give you guys my beginner tips because in this and I think 10 hours or something the game will be released and uh, there are some things that I do a lot to make my life a lot easier so I played out the game around 10 to 15 hours so I'm still fresh in the game there are probably like 10, 20 more beginner tips that I can do, but I'm just limited with the time that I had to do it. But I'm going to share it with you guys, a couple of tips that I think are very important. We are going to start with something very simple, and normally they will say it to you, but if you miss it, it can be a pain in the ass, to be honest. So, if you work with machinery, and uh, you stop working with the machinery, and you just want to drive away, you most of the time get this. So you need uh, to reset the equipment. How do you do it? You do it like this. So I always do that. So if I stop working with the machine, I always do at the end of the process. I just go with F to the context menu. I just reset it here and then you can continue. Always try to do that. Uh, put it in, in your uh, rotation if you do uh, work. And uh, yeah, that's tip number one. The next part is the vehicle and machinery handling. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's very important that you do this right. So, if you push B, you come in this screen. And this screen is very important. So, you see at the moment, this is all the equipment that I got. You can rent equipment in this game too. At the start, you need to do it because you simply don't have the money. So, here you see the clock. And that is the rented material. So what can you do here after every construction job is finish the rent. Because if you don't do that, you need to pay every day. It keeps going up and you're losing money. So at the start, you just need to do this. So I don't need the concrete mixer anymore. You just return it. Here we go. And now it's done. So be sure that you do it. Another thing that you can do here is uh, you just uh, click on it. On, uh, on my flatbed crane and you can just enter it too so here you can see it so now i'm sitting here in my truck and the, clo the job is complete so that's really cool because i needed to clear the area and i guess with clearing the area so now my job is complete and uh that's uh, that's really cool so another thing uh, that you can do here is you can repair your equipment too but i think first you need to unlock the perk it's not a perk uh, so let's have a look here it's like an upgrade for your company so let's have a look is it this no it's not this uh no this is a skills yeah I'm wondering where it was so we are going to go back in ah here it is so in company and uh, then you go to upgrade levels. At the start, there is somewhere here that you can workshop one is unlocked. So now I can repair it, but first you need to unlock this, of course. Otherwise, you don't have it. So what can you do? So I want to repair my, uh, my truck. So you click on it. I think that I'm now sitting in it. Yes, so I first need to get out of it. Okay. And what can you do now is you can store it. Then it's going to your warehouse. So we are going to store it. And then you got vehicle hell hull. If you click now on this, you can rename it and you can repair it. So that's how you need to do it. So be sure that you use this. And uh, because that's very important, get all the rents back. Gather everything so you don't need to drive around the entire time. So you can just put everything back to your uh, organization house, put it in the store, and then you take another job, get it out. And that's very important that you do it that way. So that was uh, the second part. The next part is fast traveling. So fast traveling is a very beautiful thing that you can do in the game. Uh, because this game is more focused on like the construction. So uh, it's not really needed that you drive around the entire time, in my opinion. So it's really handy that you can fast travel. So you just need to go to the map. And if you unlock a certain area, so you can see on the map, you got question marks here. But you, if you unlock it, you can just click on it and you fast travel. You can do this with your vehicles too. So if I go now to a vehicle 
and I take it out and I enter the vehicle and I fast travel with being in the vehicle, you will see that my vehicle will fast travel too. It's very handy if you need to have fuel really quick or other stuff. Uh, it makes life a lot easier. So fast travel, don't forget about it because it's a very good system. The next part are the contracts. So uh, you need to push the, the J and then you come here. And uh, here you can see, you can do the campaign with the contracts uh, or you can do the just the free contracts. So here you can see it. So I need to do this one and then I did them all. So with the contracts, you got three settings that you can do. So here you can see it. So you got low, you got medium and you got high. Uh, so it, it, it makes it a little bit harder. What I saw and with looking around because I didn't really saw what, what the difference was. There was one big difference with this job. Uh, it's, it's not the case, but this is a road. But for the garage, the one that I just did, if you go high, you get more money. So I went around and searched a little bit and it seems that on the high mode compared to the low mode, you need to do more and you need to do the 100%. So... With, with the low, if you do the job or parts of the job, like for 80%, it will be completed. But with, with high, if you take it here, you need to do it 100%. So uh, it's not going to be completed if you go under that number. So always remember that. Uh, it, I did the garage on high and it was for me not a problem. So it's not that harder, but you need to work just a little bit more in detail. And you need to go to 100%. So that were the jobs. And now it's time for the next part. The next part guys. And this is very important for, uh, for starting players. Uh, so this helped my life a lot. So if you push J again. And you go to profile. And you go to manual. Here you can find all the information that you need to have. Uh, so if you need to find something uh, like... Here, how do I need refuel or repair or how you, I need to use a certain machine? Everything is here. So just check it out under profile. It's like all the info is here and therefore I wanted to put it in this video too. So just profile manual and then you come to this area. The next one are the perk systems. So every time that you level up, you get uh, a skill point and you can put the skill points in perks. So if you go to J again, you go to profile, you go to skills, you see there are nine perks and you can upgrade them three times. So I took already this one. It's going to give me 5% more for a job that I do. Uh, and there are a couple of others too that you can take. But I think at the end, uh, if you are high enough, you're probably going to have them all. But I'm going to invest one more point in this one just to make a little bit more money. So invest, invest the skill point and now I got two points in this area. So don't forget about perk systems. Uh, be sure that you put points in it at the start. It's very important. So that was number six. The next one is the checkout system if you buy something. So if you come here to the map. And uh, you go here to the building material dealer. You can enter it. And if you buy something, I'm going to buy now, let's say this. So I got two things that I buy. And if I go to the checkout, you got three things that you can take. Uh, so I didn't saw that at first. So what did I always do? I just purchase and then it was okay for me. But it seems, so if you come here and you put your truck in front of the door, if you click on this, and you purchase, they're just going to put all your material are already on your truck. That's very handy, so you don't need to go with the half truck and, and get the, the material yourself. Uh, so I think it's very handy. Here you can just put it, that it goes right away to your warehouse. And here you can put it on the construction site. I don't know, I don't have a job now uh, available at this moment. So normally, and that's very handy. You pay a little bit more, but if you don't like uh, getting uh, the stuff on your truck and, and then drive to the, the construction site and all that stuff, you can just do it this way. So it's very handy if you need to do later a very big project or something, you can just buy everything that you need to have, just let it deliver to your warehouse and then you just start doing the job. That's I think they, how they're doing it in real life too. 
the next one are the filters so i'm going to show you guys a filter so if you got a job and you go to the shop and uh, you need to have something you can just filter what you need for the parts in the shops and that's very handy so for vehicles it's not going to help that much because you can see right away what kind of vehicle you need but if you go for the materials it's very handy so you just push the filter and you got right away the materials that you need to buy so how does it work i got now a job here that i need to get this the asphalt paver because i'm going to make a new road and what do you need to do you just need to go here to the vehicle dealer and normally in the past i just went to the right and the left and i just saw manual what i need to have but here you got the filter so if you put g push g you will see it will filter for job zero one so this is what i need to buy the next one you need to say have the same and that's how you need to do it so you can see right away here is the machinery for the asphalt and that's what i need to have but this this you can still look around by yourself because you can find it really easy uh, but if you go to the materials so here is the material dealer uh here so now i don't need materials but you can already see there is a lot of more stuff that you can buy here so if i filter now this one it's going to be empty why because i don't need materials for this but the previous one uh, the job i need a couple of materials and here it was very handy so if you need to have materials just activate the contract just push um yeah here it's f by the way just push g in the vehicle and f in the material one and you got right away what you need to have and what you need to buy for that job the last part for this video is the circle on the ground so i'm going to show you guys it with the truck but i wanted to show you guys it with the tower crane but i don't have a, a job for it uh, that's the problem uh, so what do you need to do if you work with cranes in this game so what did i do and i think a lot of people are going to do that uh, is just looking at the crane but you don't need to do that uh, you need to look at this circle so this circle is going to say everything to you so just watch this circle here you can still see the crane but if you go with the tower crane it's way too high to see it so always maneuver with the circle so here you can see it another thing that i saw i cannot show you guys it now but if you go with the circle so if you go with a very big crane and like you are over here how can you see that you're on the marker very simple so if you come over the marker and you're just above the marker this circle is becoming green uh, so it's very handy i saw it yesterday i was like yeah that makes life a lot easier so with the big tower crane you can just come nicely above the the icon this becoming green and then you just need to go down and then you're always going to pick it up so always remember that here it's not becoming green because i think that i'm way too close to the marker i cannot go higher but always remember that so just uh yeah use the crane and move around with the crane just look at the circle that's very important and it will make your life a lot easier don't look at the crane look at the circle so that was it guys for the video uh thanks for watching have fun if you play the game a little bit later and uh, i see you guys in next video bye bye